Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we have this cool, amazing product right here in my hand, and basically what this is, is a portable sink that's in use almost anywhere. But first thing first, let me actually open up the product to show you guys what it actually looks like, and what comes out the package first. So when we first open up the product itself, this is basically what it looks like right here. So the first thing we have to see is the actual sink itself right here. So the water will go down here, and this is where you put in your soap. And this little bar right here, or handle right here, is going to open up like this to hang your towels on here, which is pretty cool. And they have like two different holes right here, so one right here and one right here. So you can use either one of those holes to insert the little tube to uh, let the water come out, which I'll show you guys in a second. Next thing we have to see is all these other parts inside here. So let's take everything out and show you guys what it looks like. And one thing that I actually really like about this package or this product is the fact that it's super lightweight. So I can bring this with you guys almost anywhere for traveling, hiking, camping, or whatever. So right here we have the actual stand itself. And this part right here is where you would put the tube through to suck up the water and everything. So the bottom part you guys want to screw it on like right here. So this is the top part and this is the bottom part. So right here they provide you guys a bag to hold the whole entire uh, product itself. And then right here we have the actual tube itself and all the accessories right here. So where the water can come out, the soap dispenser and everything all is here. We have the actual product itself on the bottom part. So we got the little pump right here. This is where you put your feet to step on it to pump out the water. They have a little handlebar right here that you can use as a grip to hold it. This is where you insert the little pole or stand. This is where you can pour in the water right here. And then this tube is the one where you want to insert into the actual uh, sink itself to uh, suck up the water into it. So the other tube that I just show you guys in the other bag, that is for draining out the water and everything. And this is basically what the bottom part looks like right here. So the water will come out from here into the little tube to go up to where the sink is. And for this product, they have two wheels right here. So it makes it a lot easier for you guys to travel with it or bring it around. And that's basically what the product looks like right here. So in the little bag that we have right here, so they have the little stainless steel part right here where the water can come out. They provide you guys a little soap dispenser if you guys want to use soap. They provide you guys a little cap that you can use to steal up the actual uh, cover where you guys pour in the water. They do provide you guys some instruction guide to teach you guys how to set up the product and how to use it. And then right here is a tube that you guys want to insert into the uh, little drainage area and you guys can uh, dispense the water somewhere else once you guys finish washing your hands or whatever. And that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Now let's actually go test on the product and show you guys how to fully assemble it. So for this little stand right here, you just want to screw it in like this. Make sure it's completely sealed. That should be good. So this little tube right here, you guys want to put it through here. And also through right here. And on the top part right here, you guys want to put this thing on top. So let me actually do that first. So on the bottom of the actual tube itself right here, you guys want to make sure it fits correctly. Make sure the shape fits correctly and that's how you guys know how to put it on. Once you guys find the correct shape, push it down. It should lock in right there. So it's hard for me to do with one hand, so let me do two hands. All right, so we got that part locked in. It took a little bit of strength to like lock it in, but it did work. So what we want to do now is to insert the tube into the actual part right here, and then we're gonna insert the actual uh, stainless steel part and probably put the soap dispenser here. So let me do all that first. All right, so once we fully set it up, this is basically what it looks like right here. So we have the little soap dispenser right here, the hand towel holder part right here. We have the water dispenser right here. So you just want to insert it through this little tube right here that we put through here in the back part right here. And then we have the drainage right here. So the water will go through this hole right here, down through here, into a bucket or wherever you guys want to put it into. This is how big the hole is. We have the little pump right here. They just want to press on to uh, pump out the water. The little handle bar right here. The little cap right here to open up and close it. You guys want to insert the water right here. If we turn it on the back side, this is basically how it looks like right here. Once you guys insert a tube right here and right here, and then it goes into this uh, slot right here. And the reason why it can't go through this slot is because this one has a little uh, towel bar right here. So if you guys really wanted to, you guys can uh, change this over this side. And same thing for this side to put on this side as well. So that's up to you guys. So let's go try this out first and see what actually works. All right, so first thing we want to do is open this little tube right here. And make sure it goes all the way over this side so the water can come out right here. You guys can see. You guys can actually stretch it out if you guys want to. Next, we want to add in the water right here. So I'm going to use this like a sample to show you guys. Open this up first. Pour it in here. Alright, screw it back on. And then you guys are all set, so now you can start using it. 
So if you can see the water right here that I spilled right here, it doesn't stick on, it actually uh, slides out pretty easily, which is pretty cool. So it is waterproof. And on all four corners, they actually have the little slot right here that can actually uh, stick on a peg in here, which is not included, to insert it and hold it down onto the grass if you guys want to use that option. If you guys are just using it at home or whatever, then you guys don't need to use that option. So now let me actually try it out and see when actually it works. So I'm gonna just dispense some water using the actual pump that we have right in the bottom right here. So as you see that it does work, but it doesn't work too well because we don't have a lot of water inside. So you guys need to add more water inside for it to uh, work. Otherwise, you have to press the bottom part of the pump really hard like this to dispense the water. So let me actually add some more water into it first. All right, so we just finished adding some more water in here. Let's close back up and try again. All right, let's try again. All right. So you see that there's more water coming out now because there's a lot more water inside the actual uh, container on the bottom part. And when I actually press the pump, I'm not actually using a lot of force now. I'm just using a little bit and there's a lot of water coming out of everything. And then all the water that's going down here is going through right there. All right, so the product itself does work. And if you guys do want to add soap in here, you definitely can. But one thing to know is that once you guys add the soap in here, it's hard for you guys to get it out because it's stuck in there. So either you guys leave this on right here so it won't leak, or if you guys take it out, it's going to leak out from in there unless you guys have a cover for this. And obviously for this lot right here, you can put in a towel right here or whatever you guys want to put right here, that's up to you guys. But that's basically what the overall product itself looks like. You guys can see that everything works pretty well and super easy to use. Just make sure you guys have enough water right here and a spot for you guys to uh, drain the water right here. So this is basically what the overall product looks like. If you can see, everything does work. Super easy to use and super portable. All right, so if you guys have leftover water in here, you guys can pour it out here if you guys want to. But even if you guys do pour it out, it won't fully pour out all the water that's in here. So you guys can just do it like this. All right, so just pour as much as you guys can out of the actual uh, product itself first. You guys can use it next time if you guys want to. Close back up the lid right here. And then you guys all set. So if you guys want to keep the water in here, then you definitely use the wheel on the bottom part right here while using the handle like this. If you guys want to. To move it around to a different spot if you guys want to. All right, so once you guys finish using the product itself, you can just dump everything back into this little bag that they provide for you guys right here. So this is the huge bag that they provide for you guys. And one thing that I didn't notice is the actual uh, sink itself right here. I don't think you guys can actually remove this part because once you guys uh, put it together, it just stays like that. So you just dump it into the bag. And then right there we have the bottom part and then all the accessories in terms of like the sink right here and also the uh, soap dispenser right here. We took that out. And the actual part itself is super lightweight so you guys don't have to worry about it being too heavy to carry around or whatever. Right, welcome back guys. So I guess saw a quick test of the product itself. You guys can see that actually does work and she works quite well. Super easy to use and I really love how super lightweight it is and the fact that it has the wheel on the bottom part makes it a lot easier for you guys to use it basically anywhere. You guys can basically use it at home, in office, travel, uh, camping, whatever case may be, that's up to you guys. But definitely super portable and super easy to use. Like basically everything you guys need is all in here. So you guys got the sink, you guys got the soap dispenser, you guys got the towel holder. You guys even have the drainage part right here that's stretchable. So you can make it longer or shorter if you guys want to. And the fact that you guys have to use your feet to press the water by pumping it, that is actually pretty cool as well. So that way you guys don't waste water. You just pump as much as you guys need and it generates it out. But that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Now that we do unboxing and testing the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that these are worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. Especially if you guys are going outdoor, whatever it be for hiking, for camping, Whatever case may be, that's up to you guys, but this definitely works for almost any kind of scenario. And this should last you guys a while since the capacity for the water in the bottom is about like five gallons or so. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have used one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. But other than that, that's much it for quick unboxing and testing on the product itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, do be subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.